What's up, everybody? I'm Duncan, and welcome to a brand new guide for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. In this guide, I'm going to tell you how to make your Pokemon way more powerful. The time-honored EV system has been thrown away in Let's Go and replaced with the brand new AV system. This action value system allows you to boost all of your Pokemon stats by a raw 200 points. This allows you to make super powerful Pokemon very, very easily. For example, if we take a look at my party here, I have two Sergeant Duxons at level 100. One of them, if I look in his summary, has giant stats, just absolutely huge, 445 HP, 367 special attack, 376 special defense, and so on. This is one that has 200 AVs in every stat. On the other hand, a regular Sergeant Duxon, who has not been enhanced with 200 AVs in every stat, has 200 less on every single statistic, which gives him half the speed, less than half the speed, less than half the special defense, less than half the special attack, half-ish of the attack, half-ish of the HP, and less than half of the defense. You are literally doubling the power of your far-fetched by using the AV system. This rolls across all Pokemon. This is a level 20 Rhyhorn. This is a level 20 Rhyhorn with AVs. This is a level 100 Rhyhorn with AVs. And this is the amazing part. This is a level 100 Rhyhorn without the AVs. If we look at the level 100 Rhyhorn without AVs, it is weaker than a level 20 Rhyhorn with AVs. That's right. It is more powerful at level 20 than a level 100. This system is absolutely busted, and especially for competitive play, it has a massive impact on competitive play. You will get swept by level 50s with all AVs, even if you bring a level 100 team, if you do not AV your Pokemon. So, how do we AV our Pokemon? We do it with something called candies. Candies in the game are obtained by trading in Pokemon to the Professor. The better the Pokemon you trade in, the better the quality of the candy you will get. I'll show you quickly here how to trade in a bunch of lower level Pokemon. I've already traded in most of my good ones. So we go send to the Professor here. We click the Pokemon we want to trade in. And we hit Y. Simple as that. You send them to the Professor. And the Professor will say that you've earned some candy. As you can see, I got some quick candy, tough candy, health candy, and smart candy. Those will increase our speed, our defense, our HP, and our special attack accordingly. Now, it, sometimes you will get Pokemon-specific candies, like a far-fetched candy. Those will only work on that one Pokemon, but they will increase every single stat. When you want to use your candies, you head to your bag. You click your candy jar. And you go ahead and use some candies. So I actually have some XL candies here. So if we go for a health candy XL and use it on our Sergeant Duxon, you will see that he gets plus one to HP. And you can repeat that 200 times. Now that's pretty slow, but luckily we also have some far-fetched candy. And if we use that on far-fetched, all of his stats will go up by one. And you can do that 200 times. It is a little slow to actually use the candy up. I do hope that at some point Pokemon realize that they could patch in a system to use all remaining candy on that Pokemon. But until then, blaze away, boost up your Pokemon, and make them incredibly powerful. My personal feelings on this system is that it is incredibly overpowered and actually unbalances the competitive meta. So, you know, if you want super busted Pokemon, this is the way to do it. But maybe with your friends, switch to the normal mode, the level 50 battle mode, which removes the candy boosts. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, comment down below with the mods that you're going to use your candy on, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time.